Good evening, everyone, brothers and sisters. Welcome again, once again, um, for day two of our prayer retreat program, preparing our families for heaven. This is where we are. We all um, we ought to be at this time, sitting and and ready to hear the word of truth. So, before we start, let us bow our heads for prayer. <clears throat> Loving Father, as we come and sit at your feet today to share the word, how the Lord has an interest in our family's life. There were so many examples in the Bible of what to do and what not to do to bring our children to the Lord. Families come first before we go to Jerusalem, Samaria and uttermost parts of the world. So we want to thank you, Brother Michael, who has taken us through the Bible and the spirit of prophecy, giving us wisdom and understanding of how to make things right. Use Brother Michael, dear Lord, once again, to give a revelation of getting our homes and our houses in order. So send us the Holy Spirit, dear Lord. I pray all this in your holy name. Amen. 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 So before we start, we'll have a song from the sister twins who will grace us with a song tonight. Thank you. Uh, good evening. Now uh, we, we got us uh, the song we're going to share is called "Now You Can Walk with Me," meaning we can walk with Jesus.
Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. That's a beautiful song. So now I'll introduce our speaker for tonight. Um, welcome, Brother Michael Sapandi. He gave us an insight yesterday of our forefathers, you know, the um, some who were fa had favorites, favorites, some who were jealous, um, lying. You know, this is there were some of them that we are not is not the right way to go about um, how we bring our families. But they are also good ways, like Noah. Noah found grace in God's eyes. So, Brother Michael, it is your time now so that we can learn more. Thank you. Uh, hello, good afternoon. I mean, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I hope we are well and had a... Had a wonderful day. Um, is it okay, Tackler Twins, if we can have another song? I'm just trying to share my screen and I'm having a bit of problems. Is it okay if we can have another song while I just try to share my screen? Okay, we'll sort another song out. Okay. The song we're going to share is called Because of Calvary.
together once again and all oh, what a change there's been I know my life will never be the same again because of Amen. Uh, hello, good evening. Good evening, brother. Good evening. Okay. Good evening, brother. Are we able to see my screen now? Yes. Yes, we can see your screen. Okay. Okay, before we get into our message for today, um, once again, I'm just going to invite us if we can have a word of prayer. So let us pray. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, who art in heaven, we just want to thank you once again for this privilege that we have, that we can, we can study the Bible and also look at the spirit of prophecy today. And as we go through your word, I'm just asking, Lord, that you might, you might help us to be able to understand the things that we are going to be looking at and hopefully in our lives be able to, to apply them through your help. I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, so we're going to continue from where um, from where we left off yesterday. Um, yesterday, um, for those of you that joined, um, we were looking at, um, we looked in the Bible and in the spirit of prophecy, and, and we noticed very clearly how um, how our homes should be should be heaven on heaven on earth, heaven on earth heaven on earth and it was very very clear from what we um from what we looked at in the spirit of uh, prophecy so today i want us to look at um at something that um that i was impressed to share with you this evening and today i want us to look at the topic of at the topic of forgiveness so we're going to be looking at forgiveness um at forgiveness and i want us to see what the bible has to say and the spirit of prophecy has to say in regards to forgiveness. So first of all, I want us to turn our Bibles to Matthew chapter 5. So Matthew chapter 5, verse 23 and verse 24. Verse 23 and verse 24, Matthew chapter 5. So we're going to be doing a bit of a, a bit of studying the Bible this evening. So can I please get someone to read for us Matthew 25, Matthew 5, verse 23 and verse 24. I'll read. Matthew 5, 23 and 24 reads. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there remembered, rememberest that thy brother has ought against thee. Leave there thy gift before the altar and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother and then come and offer thy gift. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for reading my sister. So notice, brothers and sisters, it is very clear here in the, in the Bible. I'm just reading this verse again that the sister read. It says, "If therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and remembers that thou, and remembers that thy brother has ought against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar and go thy way. First, be reconciled to thy brother." 
and then come and offer thy gift. So notice, friends, as God's people, that we as God's people, if we have wronged people and we know that we have what we have done is wrong, we cannot be claiming to worshiping God while things are not right with our brothers and sisters, with our brothers and, and sisters. And it's very, very scary, brothers and sisters, when we look at the church sometimes that there are people who actually hate each other in the church of God, yet we are claiming to, to be serving the same God. You know, when we go to Matthew chapter 6 as well, Matthew chapter 6, the, the very next chapter, so Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 and verse 15, if someone can read that verse for us as well, Matthew 6, verse 14 and verse 15. I can read those. 14 and 15, chapter 6, Matthew. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive you your trespasses. Okay, amen. And let's also go to the book of Luke chapter 5. Um, so let's go to Luke chapter 5. And I want us to look at verse 17. So Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5. And someone could read for us verse 17. And verse 17 and verse 24. And it came to pass on a certain day as he was preaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And 24, that ye, but that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. He said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, take up thy couch, and go into thine house. Amen. 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 And also, brothers and sisters, um, when you go to Ephesians chapter 4, a very familiar passage, what we are looking at today, it's nothing new. It's just a reminder of what we already know in the Bible. So Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31 and verse 32. I'll read this passage. So that's Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31 and verse 32. The Bible says here, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. So let's ponder right there, brothers and sisters. So notice, friends, here as God's people, there shouldn't be any bitterness amongst us as God's people, any wrath or any anger or any evil speaking amongst us. Verse 16 says, And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Now, I want us to notice something very interesting, brothers and sisters. When we look at forgiveness, if you go to Daniel chapter 9, verse 9, let's go to Daniel chapter 9. Daniel chapter 9 and verse number 9. So, so let's go. So that's Daniel chapter 9 and verse number 9. Okay. So Daniel chapter 9, verse 9. The Bible reads here, it says, it says, To the Lord our God belongeth mercies and forgiveness though we have rebelled against him against him and also friends notice acts chapter 5 verse 31 if we look at acts chapter 5 verse number 31 so acts chapter 5 and verse 31 so that's acts chapter 5 
and we are looking at verse number 31. And the Bible reads, it says, Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So notice, friends, here, only through the help of Christ are we able to forgive one another. Only through the help of Christ. I want you to notice this quotation from um, from steps to um, from Christ Object Lessons, C O L two five one point four. It says here in the spirit of prophecy, are we able to see my screen, brothers and sisters? Yes. Amen. Yes, we can. Okay. It says here, we are not forgiven because we forgive. But as we forgive, the ground of all forgiveness is found in the unmerited love of God. Love of God. Now let's ponder right there. If you remember the, the, the two verses we had looked at, in, especially in Daniel chapter 9, Daniel chapter 9 verse 9 and Acts chapter 5 verse 31. We notice, brothers and sisters, that forgiveness is not something that we can do on our own. It is only through the help of God that we are able to forgive one another. It goes on to say here, the ground of all forgiveness is found in the unmerited love of God. In the love of God. So notice, friends, as you and me behold the character of Christ, as we see the love of God, we can actually learn about forgiveness. But it says here, but by our attitude toward others, we show whether we have made that love our own. So notice, friends, here, how you and me respond to one another. How we treat our families how you treat your boss at work, how you treat those who are not kind to you. It shows whether we have made that love of God our own, our own. It says here, wherefore Christ says, with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged, and with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Matthew 7, verse 2. And that quotation was taken from Christ Objects Lessons 251.4. And brothers and sisters, one of the things I'm learning here, one of the reasons why us as sometimes as God's people, why we struggle to forgive one another, why we struggle to, to have patience towards one another, is because we don't have the love of God in our hearts. Many of us who profess present truth don't love one another. We have hatred towards one another. We are competing with one another. We have no burden for souls, brothers and sisters. I want us to carry on um, to carry on um, to carry on reading. Because when you go to um, when you go to Colossians, let's go to Colossians for a moment. Before we look, carry on reading the spirit of prophecy again, if we go to Colossians chapter 3, if we go to Colossians chapter 3, so Colossians chapter 3, okay, okay. so Colossians chapter 3, so I'm going to start from verse 1, it says here, if ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the, on the right hand of God. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth, for ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. So friends, I want us to notice something very interesting. When yours and my life is hid in God, 
when Christ is living his life in you and me, what should be part of our experience as God's people? If you look at, if we, if we go to verse 7 now, verse 7 says, in the which you, you also walked some time when ye lived in them, but now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. So notice, friends, when Christ is living his life in you and me as God's people, us as God's people, we should not be participating in, in any filthy communication, in things that are not pleasing to God, any malice, blasphemy, and the list goes on and and on. But notice verse 12 and verse 13. It says here, put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. Let's ponder right there, friends. So notice, friends, here, before we carry on reading the Bible, notice here, friends, as God's people, these are some of the things that we need to learn through the help of God. We need to learn to be humble. We need to be learned to be kind toward one another. We need to have long suffering, long suffering, how many of us, brothers and sisters, as God's people, are merciful towards those, to our families? How many of us are merciful, brothers and sisters? Do you show kindness to your family, to your fellow members at church, at school, or work? You see, brothers and sisters, this is the thing that us as God's people, we need to learn. We need to have more of the character of Christ. But if you look at if you look at verse four, if you look at verse 13 again, it says here, verse 13 again see, says here, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against you. Even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. So notice, friends, God forgave you and me of our sins. Why can't we forgive those who do wrong against us? And clearly from what we have seen from the spirit of prophecy, the reason why, brothers and sisters, we struggle with forgiveness as God's people is because we don't have the love of Christ in our heart. We have not died to self. I want you to notice here in, in Steps to Christ, we are told here in Steps to Christ, so this is SC 97.1. So that's SC 97.1. We are told here, it says, when we come to ask mercy and blessing from God, we should have a spirit of love and forgiveness in our own hearts. How can we pray forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and yet indulge an unforgiving spirit? So let's ponder right there, friends, for a moment. Notice something interesting here. How is it possible that I as an individual, you as an individual, you could, be having an, you could be having an issue with your brother and yet you want to spend time in prayer, but you don't have an unforgiving, but yet you have an unforgiving spirit. Notice the last bit of the quote, it says, 
if we expect our own prayers to be heard, we must forgive others in the same manner and to the same extent as we hope to be forgiven. Notice, friends, here, one of the reasons why God doesn't answer our prayers is the spirit of unforgiveness. This is one of the reasons, brothers and sisters, as God's people, as God's people, and may God help us, brothers and sisters, as God's people, that we will have his character, that we will have his love. When you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, so let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, very familiar chapter. So 1 Corinthians chapter 13, so 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and reading from verse 1, it says here, it says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or as a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains and have not charity. I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burnt and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Notice, friends, here. Notice one of the things that are mentioned in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 that that someone could give their body. Someone could die for the truth. But if they don't have the love of Christ in them, what they are doing is in vain. It says here, charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed off doth not behave itself unseemingly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. Notice verse 6, friends. Rejoiceth, in, in, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. In the truth. So notice, friends, as God's people, from what, we, from what we are seeing here in the Bible, is that you and me, friends, as God's people, we need the love of Christ. We need the love of Christ. As us as Seventh-day Adventists, as his people, we have not been reflecting his character. And may God help us. So we're going to end here, friends, for today. Our study this evening is a very short one. Hopefully each one of us, um, we learned something from, um, from what you looked at in the Bible and in the spirit of prophecy. So let us pray. Uh, let us pray. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, who art in heaven, Lord, we just want to thank you for this opportunity that we were able to study your word in this short time that we, that we had as your children. And Lord, one of the things that one of the things that is affecting the people of God, especially those who believe present truth, is that we don't have the love of Christ in our hearts. In our hearts. We are not kind towards people. We don't have the patience towards one another. And I'm just asking, Lord, that you might help each one of us as your people to be converted. Help us, Lord, to behold your character and to be more like you. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Powerful. Amen. Powerful. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Michael, for reminding us again, once again, to have the fruit of the Spirit with each other. You know, um, 
we really need to pray and ask the Lord for a heart to have all these attributes and 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 to pray and um because God gave us um you know his prayer um the Lord's prayer you know so that we can emulate all of the things that he said you know we want a character of God's love so thank you brother Michael for your 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 message today and um, we hope that tomorrow we will have more of your um of your your the message about you know forgiveness for bringing children into the world and and all of these things so thank you brother michael um tatley twins can we have a song please thank you Uh, this song is based on Colossians uh, chapter 3. It's uh, about some of the verses that we looked at in this evening's study. It's called A New Life in Christ. That's what we all need to have, a new life in Christ. Christ we need to live each day that means putting the old sinful nature far away let us set our affections on heavenly things that are sure not on things of this earth Soon will be no more as a family in Christ. Have respect for each other. Nothing should come between sister and brother.
Amen. A new life with Jesus will set us free. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much for that song. Um, thank you, Brother Paul, once again. Um, I'm sorry, Brother Michael. Thank you very much for your um, your message today. And thank you for, for your prayer. And before we go, um, we'll have um, we'll have our we'll have our um, my apologies. We'll have our announcement at four forty five. We'll have morning prayer at five thirty. We'll have the desire of ages. We'll have on chapter thirty nine. Give ye them to eat, and I pray everyone joins in. It's really really uplifting. At 12, we'll have midday prayer, 6.30, song service. And once again, Brother Michael will be back tomorrow at 7. Um, so can all we all join? And I pray that some everyone takes away something with them tonight. So thank you for joining, and God bless you all. Good night. Amen. Uh, can we just say to Laura's speaker for midday prayer band is Brother Romeo, I think he's about 12 or 13, but he's a fiery preacher for the Lord and we start them young preachers. So if you can join tomorrow at, at midday to support um, Brother Romeo. One of the gems. One of the gems. Amen. Amen. Amen.